<laughs> I have found uh, a few more Jacob's Ladders in my collection since it's one of the all-time favourites. I suppose I ought to dig them out because they are fun. This has got a little gentle surprise to it, but it's nice. It's a Taiwan thing, and when you make it go, this is what it does. Little paper fans appear, much smaller and very, very beautiful, very pretty, I think. Uh, but wooden blocks, all the other versions I've got are Japanese, are all carded blocks, and then paper fans in between. So much smaller fans, much more coy almost, but uh, in a paper phone, that makes it very memorable. I kept on saying, I've got to find this. It was a bit of a hunt to find it. And there's eventually was the, the box it came in, which is quite nice. But I like the idea of having wooden, wooden wood and then paper for the fans, of course, it has to be, uh, and then making the pans, fans very small and, and sweet. So it's a, it's a charming version of that. I'm very keen on that. Um, not so interesting, but it's still a nicely made box, which is nice, which is this one here, which is Jacob's Ladder, and it comes in a box like that. Out it comes, and it's all wood, good chunky thing, and there's a perfectly standard one. Nothing much there, but I wanted to just demonstrate this at the end when I'm talking about toys in space and stuff. But the way it behaves on, it's quite predictable. And certainly you can do things like putting coins on it, with small coins behind the ribbon there, will have to, would, 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 would start falling off when you do that, because the ribbon becomes wide, a wide one and so on. So there's all sorts of fun and games with the... But I like the idea of a smart little box for it to go in. Made in Sri Lanka, this one. And it goes away well for kids there, like that. And a good one. Even more interesting is this one here, which I got for a bargain, it's in sale. This is one which I hadn't seen before, and it's uh, the museum shop, and it's in pieces. The idea is kids have got to assemble this themselves. They've got blocks of wood, fairly crude blocks, I have to say, like that. And loads of ribbons, all pre-cut to the right size, and a lot of gluing and sticking and gluing and sticking. They provide, there we are, they provide the, um, the, the glue in a little pot like that, which is fair enough. And a paintbrush as well, so you can paint them and the full diagram of how to make it. So it's a DIY walking ladder, is what they tend to call it there, walking ladder in America. I picked it up from the museum company and museum shop, I think, in New York quite a few years ago. Yes. <laughs> and there's another one here, which is a, something I knew I had, but I'd lost. I think this is one we may even have put into the, into the shop. I must ask my colleagues. It's a, Reproduction, I think made in Spain of a very old design. Lovely box out, very nice. And with a handle as well, oh goodness, look at this, quality, quality. Where's that? Oh, so a nice model up picture. Let's get it put in order, put it this way like this. There we are, Prince Albert looking smart. Oh no, he's modeled up this, this way, is it? Here we are, there's, there's the Queen herself, Queen Victoria. And here's Albert all in bits and pieces, and now we're gonna make him, here we are form like that, so that's nice. I'll do it this way, and then it's easier to see. It changes from Victoria to Albert, and back to Victoria and Albert, and so on. But it's very, very well made reproduction of an old picture, and I like the idea of a handle, too. It adds a bit of authenticity, as if you're looking at a really old version of the uh, the tumbling blocks. Good one, and the box is splendid. There's another one here, which is a magic book. I've got, well, the other one I showed was pretty good, but this is even better, because it spreads out like that. It's got ribbons at the top, ribbons at the bottom, and so there we've got a complete picture on this side now. Oops, panoramic. Uh, this is a story about a boy wizard searching, I think, for a dragon, which you'll see in a minute. On the other side, it's got scenes from his search and talking to his friends, the animals, etc., 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 etc. No sign of a dragon. Where is the dragon? Well, you've got to flip the thing to make it work. So here we go. Pick the top, turn it like that, and then you go flip, flop, flip, flop. Oops, goes there. Flip, flop. Doesn't do it very well, but never mind. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. And that's the back of it. And I'm now looking at the dragon. So let's have a look at it. My goodness, what a creature. Look at that. And that's because it's hidden within the book in the first minute when you first open it up. It's a very, very nice version of the tumbling blocks 
made in the form of a book. Very elaborate and very beautiful. I think there's a third one somewhere, but I'm going to go searching. But the last thing I want to mention is Toys in Space, which is still available on, on, uh, on YouTube. This was on January the 15th in 1993. They had a mission to um, take a number of toys up into space, like Slinkies, and see how they behaved in zero gravity. And in this book, they mentioned the um, Jacob's Ladder, and I misremembered it. I thought it was not that interesting. But actually, the lady who was demonstrating said this is extraordinary interesting, because when you have an ordinary Jacob's Ladder and you're in space, you let go of it, it won't fall to the ground, it'll just move around like this, rather as if one's got a little squeeze box and they're moving it like that. And then you put it out like that, and if you start doing flips, sometimes then something will hang down or it'll hang up the other way, and in, in, in zero gravity, it, it's much more mysterious, because you can never tell which one's going to hang down and which one's going to hang up. In these cases, it's usually hang down, because gravity is putting it. So there's a whole series of funny little things which make the Jacob Ladder a very interesting toy for kids, perhaps in a hundred years' time, when it's quite popular for a half-term break to go up into space, and play with one of these in the space capsule where there's microgravity. It's going to be a lot of fun to do. Can't wait.